So came to the junkyard. I've already picking up some parts. I took off the glass. I took off this because my girl needs it. Um, it's pretty good condition and this is not broken. Um, this is not for me. Somebody else wanted it. Same thing with this. Um, but right now, here's the oil cap that I broke. So good find. And look what I found, an 04 Toyota Celica GTS. And I need this wire harness because these broke off. So I might take off the whole wire harness if I could take it off. Um, so it's gonna be a pain in the ass. And look, this is how the air injection is supposed to be. But since my girl has a DDPR, they had to relocate it. So that's pretty cool. So. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to take this wire harness, but I'm gonna take it out. So it looks like I'm not taking the wire harness. I was taking this one off, this one right here, and it seems like it broke off already. So it's already trying to break. So I'm not gonna take it. Just cut these and take those. <laughs> what happened, bro? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> It was fucking around with pepper spray. Oh shit! <laughs> it smells so bad, bro. <laughs> what? So I picked up the header, the last part I need for the Celica. So I'm here at Toyota. Time to go home and install this bad boy. Hopefully, I'm able to put it in today. Uh, I need that car up and running already. So we just came back from O'Reilly's. We got some water to mix it with the. <laughs> Pure coolant, make it 50 50, and we bought the other engine mount from O'Reilly's. Hopefully, it fits. I'm gonna try it right now, and I think we got everything ready to slap it on. After I test fit that and if it works, then we're putting the transmission and putting the engine in. Probably gonna go in today, so let's get to it. So, bad news again. This one from O'Reilly's don't line up. It lines up these two holes right there, but the one that goes here, I'm not sure if we can see it, um, doesn't line up. So, you put the OEM one, which is this one, and it lines up perfectly. There you go, it lines up, lines up perfectly. I do not want to bend this, because if I bend it and if it doesn't work out, then I can't return it, so I'm just gonna return it. I need this motor in, so we are gonna put it in. We're gonna put the old motor mount, even though this one's messed up. But when I get the new one, I'll swap it out. I'm gonna order it from Toyota today. And then it should be here tomorrow either tomorrow or the following day i'll do this one since it's easy access in the top the main concern was that one right there because that one is a pain in the ass with the car with the engine on so but all these three right there are new and i just got to get this one so let's put the motor in put the motor mounts on i did get the bolts from the junkyard because the ones there were rusty as hell I got some good ones at the new curd, so let's do that. Slap the clutch, the tranny, put this motor on, and call it a day. I'm tired of this car sitting. Motor mounts are on, that one, that one, this one over here, and this one's already on. So, one thing I forgot also is that I gotta clean up this DDPR. They put some silicone on it, I don't know, and they still had the gasket. 
Yeah, you can see, look, you dumb idiots. So, I gotta clean that up. Now, I'll move on to the clutch. Drop the motor, put it on the cherry picker, put the clutch, put the tranny, put it inside the car. It sounds so easy, huh? But it's not. All right, so the clutch is already in. We put the uh, pressure plate. We are gonna torque these. These are actually 14 um, pounds. Flywheel is, I think, 90. Not too sure. We didn't do the flywheel because we didn't take it off. So you are gonna torque it from there, but you also need a 19 so the engine doesn't turn over. So we're gonna put a 19 right here on the crankshaft. That way it doesn't turn over. And torque it at 12, no 14, my bad, 14. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So there it is, nice and clean, got rid of all that silicone, and then put the transmission on, which is a pain in the ass, and then that's it. I'm probably going to drop it down a little bit, grab it from right here, give it a little bit more angle, and put the motor back in. So give me another like half an hour, okay. I'll be in. There it is, motor is already on, motor mounts is already on. I bolted up the header already from the uh, pipe. I also did the axle on this side. And then I believe my girl's gonna do the rest. I gotta work tomorrow, so I did the hard part already. Or we did the hard part, thanks to Andrew over here. So. Hopefully my girl gets some footage. If not, then you'll see it when this motor is complete or when I work on it. Uh, so that's it, guys.